guys, Steven here back with another video. Today I'll be talking about HitFilm Pro 2017 and Ignite 2017. So they just released a new version a couple days ago. I've actually been using it for the last two weeks because I've had early access. Thank you HitFilm for allowing me to get an early copy of the software. But basically I'll be talking about some of the new features if I recommend you to buy this product as well as what it provides as a content creator to me. So off the bat, I really do recommend this to anybody really into filmmaking, you know, color correction, that type of stuff, as well as motion graphics, 3D work. This video editor just provides so many features and plugins that you won't even imagine how much um, I don't know how to use the software. They've added like 50 more features from like the previous version, which is crazy because in the previous version of the software, I already did not know how to use 50% of the features provided. So now I don't even know like any of the features. And there is a learning curve. I know a lot of people do, you know, complain how hard it is to learn how to use it, but there are a bunch of tutorials online and i'll actually be making some in the future if you guys want but definitely if you're interested in like motion graphics and 3d type of stuff you know the text you know intro making and stuff this is everything you need there's even audio editing and stuff like that if you're interested in that as well they recently just added 8k support as well which is very crazy i don't know anyone recording in 8k besides mkbhd so maybe they're trying to attract him as a customer but yeah just to uh, get rid of any confusion this is the pro version of HitFilm Express 4 basically and Ignite 2017 is uh, basically a plugin pack that you can like get is actually built into the video editor so you don't have to buy it separately. So the main purpose of uh, Ignite 2017 is to get that same feel of HitFilm and have the same features and plugins and stuff without actually using HitFilm. So if you're ready with a video editor and you're dedicated to it, so like Vegas Pro for me. There's actually plugins you can download from Ignite 2017 and use. Um, they actually have some built-in ones on Vegas, actually. I believe they have two built-in ones. But if you want 150 more from HitFilm, you can you know download that pack as well. I believe this also works on Premiere Pro. And maybe Final Cut, I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, let's get into it. So I just opened up HitFilm Pro. And as you can tell, it doesn't look much different than the previous version, like visually. If you guys have used the previous version or maybe even HitFilm Express, it looks basically the same. But I'm sure the features and functionality is much better now that they've improved it and made a new version for this. Uh, I've been using it for a couple weeks, like I said. And a lot of the features I use are uh, focused towards like high quality video. So things like AK comp sizes, like color grading scopes greater support for uh, action cameras so like things like gopros and stuff like that it's more towards like filmmakers professional editors that's why they call it hitfilm pro and this is actually pro if you learn how to use this program you'll be able to like do a lot of stuff with it i've been using sony vegas for a long time and it really like maxed out at a certain point they didn't really offer a lot of features that I can really use as a filmmaker, as a video editor, but this has everything you really need. So you want to select a template right here and there's for different like, uh, I guess like video types. So Instagram, you know, there's one for GoPro, Quad HD video, 4K video, stuff like that. You can also select a custom one and like type in your width, height and frame rate by itself to fit whatever, you know, video you want. But I'm not really going to be talking about how to use the software. I already made a video on HitFilm Express 4, which is essentially the same in terms of editing and shortcuts and stuff like that in the layout. I'll link that in the description. But what I will be talking about is what new things there are and just showing you guys around the program if you guys don't have the money or just like want to see it. So I'm just going to press start editing here and the timeline will pop up and it's pretty clean. I like how simple it is. So one thing new is something called the uh, uh, export queue or something like that. Yeah, export queue. And you can basically uh, render portions of clips and add it to your queue and export them separately. So not an entire video, but like certain clips of the video if you really want to do that. Everything you need is in the bottom left, basically. So the controls, all the scopes that they provide, you know, the color grading and meters is for audio. And here's the tracks. So um, audio tracks, you can tell which one's an audio track. You either see an I or that, that music sound or whatever, a symbol. And you can see video or audio. And right here on the side, there's um, shortcuts. So like splicing, selecting, the ripple edit tool, stuff like that. So if I hover over these two icons, it says export in and out area and export uh, content. So export content, exporting uh, whatever you're selecting. So that could be the entire video, that could be a certain clip. So that's really helpful if you maybe uh, want to, I guess, post only a portion of a video on Twitter or Facebook, 
just as a, like a promo video or something like that or like a trailer um instead of posting the entire video because i know it's hard are really hard to upload on twitter like videos it takes a long time to upload so maybe just put a short video um a portion of the clips onto like twitter like that that's actually really helpful another thing they added is um more support for 360 videos so more uh, focused towards the text and stuff so you can see there's text layer only and video finder right here i don't have like a 360 video so i can't really show you guys but fits with 360 video so the i guess the text is more warped so it, it actually looks like nice with the 360 video so it looks like they're supporting a lot of different types of media so if you're using a gopro and you need like that wide angle view and stuff like that it will like be really helpful there's also 8k video for anyone like really into professional video editing there's also uh, color grading scopes that's a really high highly requested thing that um, a lot of people were asking for and they delivered and they also added 500 more effects to like the library that they already had that very huge library they already had which is something that they're really known for uh i know that hitfilm basically is built off of that the amounts of, of effects and plugins they have and presets they have and there's also plugins from uh ignite pro 2017 and there's no uh 4k limit for after effects if you plan on using ignite pro in after effects as well so i'm gonna go to color grading right here so there's actually tabs for color grading color correction let me just insert uh a media right here so let me just insert my logo or Donald Trump. Let's insert Donald Trump. And we just want to drag it in here. And if I press right here, so export contents, it'll automatically go to the export tab. So right here, you can see the duration is two minutes and 30 seconds. So if you look at the timeline, that's exactly what it is. So let me zoom in here. Two minutes right there and three minutes and three minutes right there. So it's in the middle. So it's two minutes, 30 seconds. So you can tell that's it. And you want to select the preset. So I already have that and you just want to export it. So you can press start exporting and it'll start. And I'll show the time. And from my experience with HitFilm, the rendering is actually pretty fast compared to like Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas was a really like big pain because it rendered really slow, but it seems like HitFilm is a lot better. One thing I also like about HitFilm is that it's so like easy, like from home to project, to edit, to export. Like it has steps for you if you're, in case you're like a new video editor, it's just a lot easier laid out. So you start with the home page, you start like new or you open a new project file and then you go on the project and then you type in the settings and then you press edit and then here's your timeline and then you export. It's really easy uh, with other video editors. It's hard. You don't know where the buttons are. You don't know where um, the options are, but here it's really laid out very well. One thing I also find very interesting is they added something where if you have two monitors, which I know a lot of you guys do. Um, the second monitor will be a, like a full preview, which is actually really, really good because some video editors don't even have previews where you can like remove from the video editor so that it hovers over the video editor so that you can like resize it yourself. And like some video editors, you can't even resize. You can only zoom in. But with HitFilm, the second monitor will be a full screen. Like Sony Vegas was one of them where I couldn't make it full screen. They had the play and pause buttons and stuff like that. And it just, it, it took so much unnecessary space. And I don't know why they do that. They use the space very well so that everything fits well. Here's the preview and here's the timeline. And now that you can have a second monitor where the preview is full and you can see it, that's just great. Also, one great thing is that the preview can use however much RAM you want so that it's buttery smooth. Once again, other video editors is very laggy. Like obviously you can change the quality of the preview. But that's not really good if you're trying to look at like color grading stuff where it may be a little bit grainy or blurry in the preview and you don't really know how it really looks like. But choosing how much RAM you use uh, when video editing and like checking your preview, that's really helpful because maybe now you can select a full preview quality. There's also something called Mocha, I think Mocha or something, where it's a tracking and they improved tracking. So it actually tracks even outside the frame now so you can maybe track text onto donald trump's face and it can move as he moves so if if he's in a video he can move and this is really helpful because once again in sony vegas which i don't know why i still use sony vegas sony vegas is really hard to track some reason like you have to do like select uh, keyframes and stuff like that and i really don't want to do that this is similar to like after effects so you don't really have to use after effects either and there's just so many things that you can use if you go down here, there's like a lot of effects. There's vision color, so you can use um, LUT pre like 
presets and plugins for uh, color grading. There's also text effects. So like you can make 3D text and they've improved basically everything that people wanted. So like color grading scopes, color correction, I've heard they also added more shortcuts as well. And yeah, overall, I feel like this video editor is really great because it provides features for any type of like a uh, person really interested in video editing, whatever kind of video editing is. And it's basically a five in one program like After Effects, Sony, Vegas. They provide all the features together. Like Filmora has a lot of overlays. This has a lot of overlays. After Effects has like text creation, motion graphics, this has motion graphics. Sony Vegas has a lot of plugins. This has a lot of plugins. There's just a lot you can do with this. Adobe Premiere Pro looks exactly like this. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If it did help you out, if it helped you out in any kind of way, maybe it helped you make a decision on buying it or recommending it to a friend or just getting into the HitFilm ecosystem. I'm gonna leave a video to the HitFilm Express 4 video. I'm gonna stop talking right now. Uh, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.